Hi guys, welcome to For Those Who Code. In this video, we'll be learning what are the updates for Node version 14. We'll go through each upgrade and improvements made in this version of release. So, let's get started. Node version 14 was officially released on April 21, 2020. Here we will cover some significant updates. To the date of recording, Node is version 14.4. and if you are willing to upgrade, you can download it from official Node website, which I will be adding in the description down below as well. So let's take a look step by step at what are the changes introduced in Node. Diagnostic reporting. Diagnostic reporting was just an experimental feature before in previous version of Node. It's a good news that we can now Use diagnostic report generation, which delivers JSON formatted summary report files that are now finally stable. This report generation really comes handy when we face some issues like slow performance, memory leaks, and also lets us know when we are facing the issues as well. We can generate the report from the commands shown in the screenshot right here. So, talking about a, a command that's represented here in this screenshot, report on cut exception, the report will generate on on cut exceptions. We want to make sure all the errors are caught and handled. Error on signal. This will allow the reports to be generated with a specific signal is sent to the Node.js process. Report on federal error. Reports all the federal errors. It also lets us know of all the errors that would cause to our JavaScript application to stop working. Report signal sets or resets the signal for report generation. This is not currently supported in Windows. App.js. So we will be running the diagnostic report, is the place where we will be running the diagnostic report. You can also find a link to see the details in how to get diagnostic report down below in the description as well. V8 upgraded to V8.1. V8 is an open source high performance JavaScript and web assembly engine written in C++. It is used in Chrome and in Node.js. This updated version of Node now also comes with new upgraded engine version 8.1. Some of the things that were added to these versions are null collation operator, optional chaining operator, Intel display names. We'll go through each of these points in our upcoming slides as well. Null collision operator. The null collision operator is a logical operator that returns its right hand side of rent when its left hand side of rent is null or undefined. And otherwise, returns its left hand side of rent. In contradiction to the logical OR operator, the left operator is returned if it is falsy value which is null or undefined. This helps a lot with the values that are returned null or undefined when we are not expecting them to do so. So if something happens inside our app and it returns null, the operator moves to the maybe an error message or a default value, the value on the right hand side of the operand, and gives the user something to see. In our code snippet here, we can see that the expected output is we love code. Because as we mentioned, it returns the right hand side operand when the left hand side operand is null or undefined. So inside here, our variable has been defined as coder and in the left we have null and in the right we have value. So that's why we expected the output of the valued output which is we love code. And we can also see a second example in the snippet right here which defines new variable new follower and after logging on the new follower we expect the output to be zero. So it helps a lot with the value that are returned null or undefined when we were not expecting 
them to do so. Optional chaining operator. The optional chaining operator permits reading the value of a property located deep within a chain of connected objects without having to expressively validate that each reference in the chain is valid. The operator function is similar to uh, the chaining operator that we see and the operator is uh, can be denoted with this symbol right here represented in red. The expression short circuits with a return value of undefined. When we use within the function calls, it returns undefined if the given function does not exist actually. Right here in our snippet, we can see that we have defined an object and we have a nested object inside it and it has a key value here uh, in a sense and language which is JavaScript and version which is uh, uh, name and ES7. So we can also uh, see an example on our right for the example of the code for optional chaining operator as well. So the next one would be Intel display names. The Intel display names object is a constructor of objects that enables the consistent translation of language, region, and script display names. Calendar and numbering system options for Intel date time format. The Intel date time format object is a constructor of objects that enable language sensitive date and time formatting. Node version 13 uses a ICU library. The ICU is a mature and globalized library for internationalization. This library helps in formatting time, currency date, and do the calculation for dates as well. The snippet here, if it's executed, then it prints out the date format in Spanish. So this is also a well stable feature introduced in Node. By the way, there are also features introduced in the latest version of ECMAScript, which I also have made a video about. Please check the video if you need to understand more on this topic. Link will be added in the video down below. So the next up update would be streams has been updated as well. Streams are the object that lets us to read data from source or write data to a destination in continuous fashion. In Node.js, there are four types of streams, readable, writable, duplex, and transform. Readable is a stream which is used for reading operation. Writable is used for writing operation. Duplex can be used for both reading and writing operation, whereas transform is a type of duplex stream where the output is computed based on input. This type of stream is an event emitter instance and throws several events at a different instance of time. Streams can help us in many things in Node. Here are a few things that are listed down here. And some of them are handling data, handling writing or reading files, and network communication. So now talking about the next change, it's removal of experimental modules warning. A module organizes a related set of JavaScript code. A module can contain variables and functions. A module is nothing more than a chunk of JavaScript code written in a file. By default, variables and functions of a module are not available for us to use. Variables and functions within a module should be exported so that they can be accessed from within other files as well. When we run ECMAScript modules in Node.js, we would get an experimental warning. That warning has now been removed. Though it's still experimental, the warning has just been removed for the time being. This model system helps us in managing variables, organizing functions, and grouping things that would make sense in our code. But now, we don't see any warning in the using of modules introduced in ECMAScript, but we should be also be careful when using this feature in production environment as well. So another addition to the changes are experimental additions. 
that are introduced in the current latest version of Mod Node. So, Experimental Async Local Storage API. This class is used to create synchronous state within callback and promise chains. It allows storing data throughout the lifetime of a web request or any other asynchronous duration. It is similar to thread local storage in other languages as well. So other experimental addition would be experimental web assembly system interface. The WASI API provides an implementation of web assembly system interface specification. Packages written in web packages written in web assembly for Node.js brings the opportunity for better performance and cross-platform support as well. Here we are some of the curated changes in the new release of Node. If you want to go and take a deeper dive, I suggest you to go into the documentation link that is provided in the description down below. So guys, I hope you found this meaningful and interesting regarding the new changes that have been introduced in Node version 14 just a few months back. So thank you very much for watching my videos. If you guys want to learn more about anything like code, design and anything more, please like, share and subscribe with the click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this. See you in the next one.